Yo, Vaisant here. So I loved up some more, got some more gear on my physical druid, and I'm still mauling, roaring, swiping, and my main attack is still the maul. So I want to talk about my skills now with the 20 points maxed out and my current gear set. As I'm looking at the gear, there aren't many options for weapons. So on top of the physical build on this, I'm also doing some bleed to synergize with this build. So this is a continuation video of my previous pure bear muscle video, but I will make a short version summary of the video as I'm reviewing the skills again. Okay, let's start off with the werebear. The werebear has, when you actually change into a bear, your moves change too. So you're going to have roar, which uses the war cry tree. You have swipe, which is swipe tree. And then you have maul and you have rampage, right? So in Werebear, there's some key points you want to get is this one. Soul Crusher would allow your Fairy Leap tree to actually be applied to your mole. And uh, from there, you probably want a few of these things just for sustain. So you stay in bear mode and especially this one. This one, when you roar, you get rage. And then here is when you hit a stun, you're going to with you hit stun with this mall and it's going to give you rage as well and this kind of ties into the fairy leap that we'll go over in a bit and then we have swipes um each swipe that you do you get rage and the important thing that i went for is the ar armor shred here and the crit so that allows it to and this one just gives like straight up more damage so that is the werebear tree in summary then we have the fairy leap the important key points is to get this one, which allows you to reset when you kill something. So you can technically do it twice if you're like fighting a mob. So that means you hit stun units, right? Because then you do maul and then you stun and then you maul again and you get some rage. And then this one also is good is when you use another skill to kill an enemy, you can get uh fairy leap to happen again to get it reset. And this happens at 10% and this can happen every five seconds. This one every five seconds as well, but 100%. And the next one you want is this one, Violent Upheaval, which allows you to synergize Maul as well to use Upheaval, right? Here has it too here, but then I rather save the points for other things and have this one be the one to actually summon the Upheaval. It does the same thing, so if you have both of them, it give you 30% more. But yeah, those are the key points. I also got Vines if you really want, you don't really need this, but it's just nice to have like a chance to summon minions. Okay. So, uh, why don't we just jump to the Hevo, which is with that what that is. So, I pretty much went up into the here. This is like the important one right here to have five lines, and then I made even more lines. And then I actually went down here so if they can't dodge it. And then I went here so it gets further just to like power it up. This one gives you extra armor, which is good. Have that. This one, I only have one into it because it'll buff up the next mole that I do. Uh, there's no point having two because I'm just going to be mauling all the time. And this one increases the, the crit strike, so it do more damage. And I have this just because of the bleed. Um, it does double with two-handed weapons, but we're using dual wielding for this build, right? So uh, you can ignore that there. And then we got swipe, which is like your secondary attack when you can't maul or um, when you maul in the beginning. And then, so you only want to swipe if you can like tank the damage. If you can't tank the damage, then you probably are, like just run around and maul. But swipe is like an in-between, you get like swipe in-between. So the important thing is to just like max out these on the bottom here. Except for this one, you don't really need that. That just makes it last longer. But this gives you stacks and each stack increases your speed and your damage and your crit. So you want that. And you also want this uh, bleed here, which goes into physical shred. This is the important one, actually. Because you want that physical shred. So each hit you keep doing, it does because you, you're doing physical damage, right? So you can do more physical damage. And I have two into this just so I can get some life bleach while I'm swiping. Okay, then we have Warcry. The important one is to get this pool because you, you're in melee, so you want things to like get closer to you. And then I have this bleed here just to in increase the bleed. Just to cause the bleed. You just need one point in this. And the important one is the Berserk. You want Berserk so when you Warcry, you can start slashing faster, right? So then more physical shred and etc. And then you have this, you just want to kind of get this one maxed out so you can get attack speed increase. And you couldn't max it out too, but I went for the crit. Because you want to do crit based on the build. Because the more crit you do, the more rage you can get later and see in the passive tree. Um, so I pretty much maxed it out. And I also got the heal just in case. Just need some extra heal. My problem right now is my equipment that I need better sustain. But it's sustained enough. As long as you don't get one shot, you can pretty much heal it all back. <laughs> 
as you can see in the beginning uh, compilation kind of thing. All right, so those are the basic rundown of the skills, and then we'll go to the passives. Pretty much, I went. The important one is to get this one, Ranker. So when you're standing still, you can actually not lose rage. So you just pretty much get that uh, for sustain, and this one also for sustain. Um, so this is pretty much what I went for. The eight point bonus for that give um, more damage for strength, and then this one I maxed out for the health on leech. And another next important one is the rage born. You want this rage on crit. I, I straight up maxed out to get more crit. So every time I rage and crit, I get, every time I crit, I get rage, okay? And then I went for these next for more sustain, right? This gives you impervious, which is pretty nice. And then I went back and got this because I ended up doing bleed. So I was doing straight up physical. And then at the end, uh, you see in the gear later that there's not much options for weapons, except like bleed as like, oh, bleed is pretty nice. Everything is kind of elemental and stuff like that. So I put some points into this. But technically, I went into this, and I also went to the Beast, Beast Master Tree, got more damage and more sustain, and then I went for this for more sustain, and then in turn, I'm going to actually plan to get this for more damage, and this for more sustain. I technically don't need this one, but that is the main plan here. Um, you can also get this too. So it depends how many points you want to go into. Each one of these is up to you, but that's like the basic passives here. This one, I have dual wielding, obviously. <laughs> this is a dual wielding build, and dual wielding has much more benefits than like two-handed swords, and I just went straight into these and these. All right, so that's basically right now. If you want a more detail of what I did, uh, check out the other video. So, those are the points that I have. Um, you can always just pause at these instances to see what I did, right? <laughs> I actually have more than 20 because I have one that gets plus one to all physical skills. Uh, I guess I had this powered up at the end. And then I could just go over this maxed out at the end. And I just maxed out damage here at the end. You get extra points. I'm just saying which one had extra. Uh, which one did I do? I think I went for I went for the heal. <laughs> and I also went to point in this. So it could be either this or that. I got bleed. Actually, I did get bleed at the end because I started to go bleed, but I do want that over like maybe this one. And this one I got, you don't technically need this one, so you can get rid of this if you don't need it. You also not need this really, but it's nice to have. Also this one, you probably just need like one stack or two. Uh, Yeah, that, that's mostly the ones for skill wise. All right, let's go over my gear. So I got this one right here. This is pretty nice armor set. And it gives... The main important thing is the 2 rage gain on kill. So you can pretty much keep sustaining along the like mobs. And you get the white fur, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can see it in the compilation earlier, right? You get a nice skin change. Which I think is the plus. Okay, that's pretty good. And the main weapon that I'm using right now is Taste of Blood. I do want another weapon in tune with this. And, and like I need an undisputed but we'll go over that gear later like possible gears that you can use but this is the current gear I'm using is for bleed and actually every time you hit it'll like make the bleed faster which is nice um, right now I'm just using the symphony of anguish um, in terms of rings I feel like it could be a lot better with this but this is not too bad for the life leech and the movement speed so I enjoy that the belt is pretty nice though. It gives plus one to all physical skills since you're all physical. It, it gives plus one to everything. And it gives you bleed and movement. The throwing speed is kind of useless to you, but uh, everything else is pretty good. I'm using this. Uh, I do need a better relic for this, but this is what I'm using for now. Um, do not have anything else better. Then we got the uh, the boots. Um, we'll go over like all the uniques that I'm looking for, my target right now. But this is what I'm wearing right now. Pretty simple, just for armor movement speed this one's for attack speed area of skills etc and this one i wanted to get i got wear bear so um, i want to so you want something that's for your skills for your helmet and stuff like that so you can find stuff that can you use for your helmet uh, go for that uh for your skills and then we got this amulet which i just using this because of attack speed and the, the sustainability so that's what i'm using at the moment i was using a critical amulet where is the stash <laughs> 
I was using this before, which I got in early in the beginning, which is pretty decent, but this one this this one doesn't nerf your like basic crit, so this this one's not like nicer. And then for the idols, I'm just using like stuff that gives me extra things. Um, give me extra damage, it give me extra resistances, give stun, bleed, crit is more important is what I'm actually going for, but obviously the game RNG this with me. <laughs> Alright, let's go over the gear that I'm targeting for. I want this weapon right here to go in synergy with the taste of blood. And this is pretty much gonna give more damage, more melee attack speed. And you get extra leech, but the important part here is the five percent more physical damage for each recent hit against a bleeding enemy. I'll be bleeding a lot. Swipe does bleed. War cry is gonna do bleed. Maul is gonna do bleed. So I'm pretty much bleeding all the time, or the enemy is bleeding all the time. So that's the weapon I want to go in tangent with the other one. Then we have the boost I want to go for. This one right here, the chariot, gives armor, resistant movement speed, and every movement speed increases my damage. Right, and then every three seconds, my next movement skill does more damage. It's just my rage. I mean, my rampage. This is not important, right? It's the other stuff. A lot of resistance, a lot of armor. Optionally, I can go for this one, which gives you resistance, movement speed, and then ward if you're just standing around, right? So whatever comes first, I guess I'll just put it on. But that other one is what I'll go for. This one's also pretty good, right? The fate, which gives you cooldown recovery so I can more more often, give ward retention. Increase damage over time, which is my bleed. Okay, so that's great. And give haste. And rain dance is like the less optional one. Duh. But it's still pretty good, right? You get reduced duration of stun if you get stunned. And then it gives you some dodge rating and stuff like that. Cold damage kind of useless to me. Uh, to the all attributes, which will help in later when I talk about a ring. Okay. Now for gloves. This one to be the best one. Salt the wound, which it gives bleed. Critical strike and an extra critical strike mod of multiplier goes into bleed and then increase damage over time, which increases bleed and you know resistances and stuff like that. Okay, so that's the number one glove I'm going for. Optionally, you can go with this. It lacks armor though, and it does create every third strike into lightning um, and all the other stuff. But it gives you plus one to level swipe and plus one to all attributes. Not too bad. This one is okay. You take more damage by dealing more damage. But obviously, salt the wound is better in this case. Then we have my armor. We saw this here. The only thing nice I like about it is these two right here. The rage and the skin change and the strength. I guess elemental resistance too. These other, these other two are kind of useless to me. But it's there. Uh, it's nice. I'm wearing it. I would like rather go for this. Because it does give damage immunity. But the rage on kill is just pretty good. Too good, man. <laughs> it refreshes my rage too quickly. But yeah, damage immunity... Plus one to all attributes. So this might be the build to go for because of the ring later I'll be mentioning. Now we have this helmet. I think this is the only helmet that will work for me. It gives you extra stun because Maul was stun, Warcry was stun. And then my swipe kind of stun too. So this will help out with the stun. And it gives you war retention. Alright, here's the ring I'm talking about. Give all attributes, resistance, health regen, mana regen, dodge rating. All is pretty good. It's either this one or the one I'm currently wearing, right? The one you get from Corruption Boss. Um, and then this is the part where I need 180 total attributes for 10%. I'm like far from it right now. So <laughs> this is what I'm striving for. Okay. So that's the ring. And then we have the relic here, which increases bleed and it reflects his damage. And then it also gives you like all this overtime, a life leech and life on kill when they have bleed. Okay. So that's my gear that I'm, my targeted gear that I'm farming for at the moment. Still ways from it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my stream if you got any questions or whatever you post in the comments. Uh, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? I'll be playing some Diablo 4 too, by the way. Later days.